Hey guys, another night video. Just got off work. So uh, when you're at work or at your home, you work from home, um, you know, you're either stressed or tired, you can just change things up, it'll help you out. So for example, uh, if I'm stressed, I'm just gonna take some uh, deep breaths, you know. There's uh, receptors in your chest and um, when you're stressed, you tend to uh, breathe shallow, and that can set off a cascade of um, stress hormones. So when you, uh, you know, change the depth of those uh, receptors, the what you know information they're receiving by slow and deep breathing, you know, that helps offset those uh, s uh, the stress and the hormones, and you start to slow things down. Um, you know, a couple of slow, deep breaths is basically you're meditating, activating the rest and digest system rather than the, um, you know, adrenaline system, fight or flight. So that's one thing you can do when you're stressed. Uh, drink some water when you feel stressed. Get, you know, get your system optimized, flowing. Uh, most of us are dehydrated, and you know we need we need we need that reminder to drink plenty of water. Um, so breathing water, that's a good way to de-stress. Um, if you can, if you're at work or at home, you know you can sneak in some stretches like uh, yoga. Uh, just trying to reach down to your toes—that's a, a yoga move. And when you're, you know, doing those stretches, whatever stretch you choose, just focus on some slow breaths. That's a meditation motion. A little, uh, little hack there for you. Um, so stretching, breathing, you know, staying well hydrated, it's gonna help distress you. Um, if you're tired, you know, uh, change it up. Speed things up. Do some push-ups, um, jog in place, uh, do a mini workout, stretch, uh, drink water. Mm. If you're at home, yeah, you can uh, take a cold shower. That'll wake you up. Um, you can also take a nap if you're at home. Um, maybe yeah, I watch a uh, philosopher notes. Basically, it's uh, this guy, uh, Brian Johnson, he, he reads a whole bunch of books on wisdom and personal development. One tidbit I got from there is uh, regarding naps. Uh, the studies show that, you know, just even as short as six minutes of a nap will help her, uh, revitalize you. So you can take a, um, a nap in the middle of the day. I wouldn't suggest it too close to bedtime. Middle of the day is probably better. Okay, so those are some uh, tips for you if you're either stressed or you know you're lacking energy. Just change it up. Bye.